Hello, everybody. What is up? How we doing today? I should really coordinate this better to match the um, uh, driver I'm going to be profiling. Uh, anyway, um, so moving along to part three. And it was a struggle picking between this gentleman and somebody else that I will profile next time. But as I'm sitting here, you know, about to get my regular license back. Stupid ignition interlock. I can't wait to rip you out, you piece of shit. Um, sorry. Anyway, um, so was thinking about it while I'm sitting here like, yo, I got time. They only open at 8.30. Um, luckily, work said I could come in a little late if need be. Um, I already missed enough hours, so I hope it's not too late, but doing what I got to do here, just taking care of these things one step at a time. That's what living a better and more beneficial life provides me today. Thank you, God. Um, so as I was sitting here, I was thinking, hello! I didn't mean to frighten you, dear. I am Elegant Eddie. You are watching the E and Double D Sports fanatics podcast here would you like me to do another video on racing profiles and meeting blank except today to here i could do that darling sorry my accent sucks but let's get into it please like and subscribe guys you've been doing a lot of that lately and i really appreciate it like it means a lot we're getting more views we got two new subscribers <laughs> like that's a big deal to me like, that's a big deal. Hi, how you doing? I'm doing a video, not you. Um, hate when people do that, when they look and they're like, oh, uh, is he beeping at me? No, I'm not beeping at you. I might have been beeping at that chick with the fat ass there, but... I'm... <laughs> Mom, enjoy your vacation. My mom is on vacation. Give them a round of applause, Mom and Roger. They did make it to the shore okay they're fine i hope they're having a fine time it's not as hot and humid there so hopefully they are able to enjoy anyway this driver i want to profile today is from my home county he is known as the myers town missile he has beaten the outlaws several times over the past few years ladies and gentlemen the driver of the marks murray m m paintings uh eagle fredericksburg eagle hotel Mama's Pizza, number 19, Brent Marks. Now, um, Brent's somebody I have met before, so I don't really need to um, do the pageantry like I did with Macri and Danny, because that was but um, still. So, at Port Royal, I got him to sign a wing panel for one of my best friends, because I got him a wing panel, because he couldn't be there on that day. And that meant a lot to me. I didn't get a chance to take a photo with him. I figured, oh, with him, you know, since he's not my favorite, you know, one autograph on a night is enough. I'll, I'll see him when I see him again. And that, again, was at William. Unfortunately, he packed up early and left at Lincoln. He had a bad night. So I did not see him during the Gettysburg Clash. But um, I did see him after, obviously, after the... Um, uh, Morgan Cup. Now, um, Williams Grove's very lenient, and when the race is over, they let you onto the track. Um, I got close to him, shook his hand, and he actually, and I said, Brent, ran a hell of a race, dude. Really proud of you. And he said, hey, thank you. You want to get a picture quick? I was like, ah, uh, duh, duh, like, yeah. <laughs> so, I gave a gentleman my phone. He was nice enough to snap a couple pictures. One, I just looked like, uh, what the hell? The other one, I got a big smile. I, I realize what the moment is. Like, yo, I'm standing in victory lane with the winner of the Morgan Cup, a guy who just kicked the outlaw's ass. And those of you that could that want to cry, oh, Jacob Allen, I like Jakey too. But a fact is a fact. He ran out of fuel. He didn't have enough in the tank. Neither did my boy. Shit happens. It's part of the game. Jacob ran very well the last two weeks. Or, sorry. Yeah, yeah. And he ran very well this eastern swing. I don't know where he ended up at Bridgeport. I don't think he had the greatest of nights. 
Anyway, that's not important. But the fact of the matter is, Brent was coming on like a freaking hurricane in Miami, right? Like, he was doing some damage, and people are showing up here. I'm about to get in line. Um, yeah, yeah. He, he was doing what, what he had to do to methodically gain. And I feel like Jacob, if that caution hadn't come out, was a sitting duck anyway. Brent was gaining. He just passed Sheldon for second. Just used a beautiful pick from lap traffic to get to second. And, um, yeah. So, get out of here. Damn it. What is this guy doing? Oh, he took my advice. Thanks. See ya. And that guy was like, don't mind if I do. Anyway, let me get into this. I'm sorry. This is probably my least detailed. Hi, how you doing? Um, love when people look in at you. Like, Oh, they're the pen dot workers. Okay, cool. Cool. Looks like I got one person to beat and I'm just going to lick her face if, if i lick it it's mine you know so i'm just kidding i'm just kidding guys jesus let's get into this so anyway um brent wins the race long story short awesome moment the redhead above me wasn't too happy because when hey he would have never brought it back about the jacob jacob and i just kind of laughed because it's like yo gremlins are a part of the fucking game it happens oh do you not get mad when macri Drops out, yeah, I do get upset. But it's not the end of the world. Like, if somebody wins because of his misfortune, it's like, well, fucking Macri would have won. But you know what? Congratulations. Now, fuck this guy. He fucking blah, blah, blah. Like, damn. Like, Brent made Jacob run out of fuel. Like, he just, yeah. This is a holocapusha. Run out of gas. So, anyway. Um, so, yep. Um... I get the picture with him in victory lane. I'm really excited today, so I'm sorry if I'm all over the place and not making sense. Oh, God, that's a guy. Dude, that's a dude. Oh, God. Anyway, so, yep, the picture in victory lane shook his hand again and said, thank you. He said, yeah, come back to the stall afterwards. So I came back, I was like, I smiled, I was like, I'm sorry, I gotta have the winner sign my ticket. He laughed, he goes, of course you do. It wouldn't be right, would it not? It's like, nah. It's like, now I'm starting that trend. He's like, that's a pretty good trend to start. So I did that. Um, and yeah, just a really good experience. Brent is such a laid back dude. Um, he's not going to be one like Danny or Macri or the next guy I'm going to profile that are going to, you know, have you cracking up, fucking die and laugh. Sorry, freaking die and laughing. But Brent is somebody laid back that you'll get a good conversation with and is very personable to his fans. Megan, she is awesome. She's one of the best merch saleswomen in the business. Go see her for all your M&M racing number 19 needs. She's awesome. Um, not Mama Macri awesome. Sorry, Megan, but yeah, yeah. Uh, anyway, um... Yeah, Brent, Brent's always been a good time to be around, and he's, you know, it's it's an honor for me being from Lebanon County to say he went a couple schools across, across the township, and, you know, I've had the privilege of knowing him for a while, and I've got to see him run pretty much his whole career starting out at Linda's in the micro sprints, so I think he was in the 270 class. This was a... Pfft back in what 2005 ish yeah memories are hard <laughs> anyway way back then at least <laughs> but yeah it was a pleasure meeting Brent again it was I don't have like the awesome stories that I do with Macri or Danny or even the next guy but I just wanted to get on here and document some guys that I have taken a picture with so join me for the next episode where I will go into more detail and I'll try to leave out personal shit more. Um, who have you met that really had a good impact on you or what driver from your hometown are you not close but 
you have somewhat of a personal relationship with. Hit me in the comment section below. Again, please like and subscribe. I love your faces. Have a fantastic Friday. I'll see you guys next time with some more racing content.